Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to uh, the KOR universe. We are um, in this month of uh, uh, December, we are celebrating Rizal Month. And uh, the Musings of the Knights of Rizal has opted to uh, do a Rizalian art and monument special. So we are so happy and uh, glad that uh, we have uh, in front of us, sir, Fred Kaido, who is who belongs to a family of uh, sculptors uh, from way back, uh, and he, he is, was kind enough to open his um, his thoughts for us and uh, give us a glimpse on how uh, to go about. Specifically, the takeaway. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, find out if we want to have a uh, monument built in uh for of course for jose rizal uh, how to go about it uh with regards to his work and he wanted me to call him fred so i'll and not meister he's he's uh he's very uh uh good about that so uh so fred uh would you like to introduce yourself oh. uh hello uh good morning to you all over there uh -huh. well my name is, uh, well, my whole name is uh, Frederick uh, Isaga Kaido. Or just call me a simple spread. I'm a third generation sculpture artist. Uh, my family is one of the like a, 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 a pillars in the uh, Philippine sculpture. Uh, my grandfather is the late Anastasio Kaido or Professor Anastasio Kaido from UP. And my dad is the late Florante uh, Boy Kaido. He's the son of the late Professor Anastasio. That's my father. Sir, um, how many are you in the family, po? the immediate family? How many sons and how many siblings do you have po, uh, with uh, Sir Boy? Well, uh, I'm the eldest. Uh, we are our, uh, four uh, children. Uh, I have a twin brother and uh, a sister, and uh, the youngest is Florentine Jr. In our family, we're the only two uh, has a knowledge in sculpturing. Uh, my elder brother, my twin brother, but sad to say, uh, has a tragic event what happened a uh, few, uh, few decades ago. Ago, That's why uh, I'm the one who inherited all uh, the responsibility to, to well, uh, to take care of the legacy of uh, our family. For those who do not know, of course, uh, those who are involved with the uh, uh, Rizalian movement, I would call it, or those who are in the know in the arts, know about your uh, family history. But those who do not know, sir, can you briefly uh, describe to us what the Kaido uh, uh, historical uh, impact in sculpture, uh, my grandfather started the uh, no, in middle of like 19, you know, uh, 61 63. Uh, they become uh, like uh, uh, this competition in, in historical commission way back uh, from the 60s, the, mid, the, the early 60s. And there, uh, they led a competition to make a, a, a standard uh, portrait or sculpted portrait of Jose Rizal. One of the contestants of that is my grandfather, uh, the late Professor, Professor Anastasia Kaido. And the other one, his, uh, his uh, colleague, uh, Napoleon Abueba. And also his mentor, his professor, and also his, his uh, best friend, uh, the late uh, national artist, Guillermo Tilipino. Going back to that competition, sir, uh, was that uh, the first time that your grandfather was involved in sculpting, or he he's done other works before that? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, well, in, in his my grandfather uh, in some younger years, uh, you know, it's, it's very, you know, it's like starting like the uh, age of 12, 13. Uh, this, uh, well, I remember my grandmother told me that that story that uh, his younger years that, uh, no, was he's doing a, a lots of things from the porcelain and uh, doing some like this dolls 
and then sculpting some uh, uh, trees and dragons and uh, animal, different kinds of animal. Then he started because it's, it's also one story. It's his, it's his great grandfather, uh, great uncle. It's also a porcelain maker in, in Guangzhou, China, because my grandfather is also from uh, well, uh, he, he he didn't born. He born in the Philippines, but he grew up in, in China uh, when he was a toddler up to his uh, wee teens. My, my my grandfather went back over here, and then he studied here. Uh, uh, my, my my grandfather is a very, very smart and intelligent, very studious. He, he you know he did it. He he he. At same time, he's doing his high school. He doing his college also his college in in the evening. And then he studied at UP up to have that become his, uh, also he become a professor. And then uh, before he become because he's a student of the Guillermo. He's he saw he's he saw. Uh, you mean uh, Guillermo uh, Talentino, sir? Yes, yes, he's, okay. he's, he's the national professor. artist. Yeah. Correct, the first uh, national artist in sculpture. Now your your dad actually did not have any. Oh, not your dad, but your grandfather. Uh, Sir An uh, Anastasio did re didn't really have any formal training. Uh, he did. He did. Oh, he did have. He went to school to learn sculpt sculpture. Yes. Oh, I see. I see. I got it. Uh, now, sir, he sir in fine arts. I see. Mm. Now, sir, there's a rumor, sir. Uh, there's a uh, uh, folklore that uh, the UP oblation. Was uh, <laughs> they were telling me that that was before? Uh, sorry, they were telling me that that was uh, supposedly Fernando Po Senior was the model, and then I uh, uh, when I uh, did my research, uh, I found out that it was your grandfather. Is that correct? Yes. Sir? yes. Actually, I don't want to because it, uh, the family Po is a good friend of ours. But yeah, it's it's, it's true because to that time uh, there. Uh, his is uh, a brother-in-law and uh, his professor and uh, the late national artist uh, Guillermo Tolentino is there and my grandfather is both they uh, they're very fond in bodybuilding UP uh, that time uh, commissioned Guillermo Tolentino to make like a, a symbolic or iconic monument so to symbolize what is UP uh, well, I don't know, uh, no, to make it short, uh, because he's the student of, uh, of uh, my grandpa is a student of Guillermo, he asked, uh, and also a good friend, uh, also a kapit bahay, because there's only a few, few streets away, uh, no, uh, his shop, uh, from our shop in, in Quezon City. Mm, it's only like uh, four, 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 five blocks away. Mm. There's actually not one or two to, to correct it because my God is a bit short. There are two models. One is they, they took the model of uh, Raimundo, the brother in law of Guillermo Tolentino, uh, who's the, who took the height of the oblation. Mm -hmm. But the whole busy, the proportion, and then the, uh, uh, we call the, the, the anatomy is. And the face is my grandfather. Sir, talking about the oblation, uh, was it your father or your uh, grandfather who did the oblation in uh, Manila? And, uh, ah, yes. and uh, where's the other one? There's two places. Kalamba, that he... Baguio. Baguio. Kalamba, yeah, Baguio. Baguio. And uh, those are the oblation, the, the UP yeah. oblation. And, in... and also Iloilo. Uh, 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 first in, in, in Baguio, uh, I remember uh, because um, my dad and Tito Popong, one of the uh, apprentice of my Lolo and uh, a good friend of my dad, I call it uh, Tito Popong, that's uh, uh, his surname is a uh, good friend of my dad and apprentice of my dad at that time. Uh, who helped to make the oblation in, 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 in uh, I, I call it Tito Popong. Uh, and he call, they always call it Popong. <laughs> so you, you are saying that uh, your Tito Popong and your dad worked on the Baguio oblation, UP oblation? Uh, uh, actually, my Tito Popong and my dad who helped my Lolo to build 
the UP of Lesion, you know, that's uh, middle of 1950. After that, Manila, and then after that, and, and I remember, I really, I remember 1976 or 77 in Iloilo. Iloilo. UP Iloilo. Because I know he's one of the students of my Lolo. I see. Uh, uh, my dad also a student of my Lolo. Uh, Navarro, uh, Orlina, Castillo, uh, Casal, um, lots more. Uh, yeah. I, I forgot that is there. Now, sir, uh, let's um, let's move on from the oblation, sir. Uh, as yes. you know, I am a Knights of Rizal. And did you say that your Lolo and your dad was a member of the Knights of Rizal? Yes, yes. My grandfather, the medallion of my grandfather, I, I know it's, he donated, he already donated in, in, in Batangas. Eh. Uh, but my, my dad, I, I still have. Wow. The, uh, that, uh, K, uh, KC, uh, I think that's a KCR uh, medallion. Uh, yes. As you know, I'm a member of the Knights of Rizal. Uh, and that belonged to your dad. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that uh, Madrid uh, replica of the ah, okay. of the Jose Rizal monument? Excuse me. That's our work. My, me and my dad's work here, that one. Eh. Uh, that time, my glory already passed away almost like three, year, three, three and a half years ago. How long did it take you to... Uh, and how, how was the process? Can you tell us briefly <laughs> how the process was, how you... Uh, how long you made it? How you shipped it? And uh, did you go well, to Spain uh, when uh, I was uh, yeah. inaugurated? Yeah, I, I was there. Uh, actually, um, me and my dad was there. Uh, it's like this: uh, when, when my dad doing the the uh, the model of the Rizal, he took he took him like almost a year and a half of uh, those four monuments. Because the process of making a, a molten cast bronze is, is around like seven stages. Eh? It's a process that it took a long time. And this one's big. It's almost like a, 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 a actual size of the, the result in Luneta Park. Yes. Uh, it's very big. Uh, to, uh, no, that's why we did it in sand casting in an in a old process way. Uh, when we finished the, uh, the, the casting and then, uh, then he told me, my dad told me, uh, Anak, uh, for now, because I'm going to do the other, you know, you're the one who will be in charge. I was, I was like 19, 17 people, 17, 17 uh, workers, plus another uh, 10 more, like 27. You're going to take charge of those, you know, I was in the foundry, uh, some doing the, 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 the melting, some other doing the sand, sand molding, some no one is, is, is casting the, or uh, taking up the, the, Already, I know, uh, uh, cure of, of, of the bronze. Uh, I'm the one who's who's doing the the, the cast the casting and the curing. Dad, okay, Dad, you, you, you task me for this, but that I don't know if I can do it. Now you're a kaido. I know you can do it. Uh, just stick on your mind, focus on your work. Uh, always. Think what I taught you and what this Lolo taught you. It's like one, two, three. That's that's the basic thing. Remember all those things. I know it's, it, you want to take slow, but it's nothing wrong. Always failures has always failures, but important. Uh, sorry. It's okay, sir. <laughs> sorry. I. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I remember because that time really sorry. Uh, that's the only time that uh, we have like this father father bonding. That's the old that time I was growing up. <clears throat> it's always uh, it, uh, different country, different uh, place in the Philippines. Uh, that's why we're not uh, well, only bonding with like, when he's teaching me. But the time he was always gone, like four months, five months, a year, almost sometimes I don't know, I didn't know my dad name. 